Hello, are you ready for this one? All right, let's get into this story. It is about crashing an Asian wedding. Okay, so uh, it, I actually wasn't in this story. It's actually about two of my friends. They told me the story. So I'm trying to think what should, what name should I give them? Uh, one of them, I'll give his name as Brad, uh, and the other one's name I will give as Jordan. Um, so Brad is a white boy. Uh, they're they're both in like their early twenties. Like, I think they're both twenty three right now. Uh, and Jordan is black. Uh, so both of them were going to go to crash a wedding because they have done that before in the past. Uh, they haven't been like too successful in doing that in the past. Cause normally like, uh, whenever it comes to like hangouts or whatever, at the time they happen to like usually be like pretty late when it comes to hangouts or whatever, uh, in getting to hangouts. Uh, um, but they've been getting a lot better with that. Just like all my friend group is kind of like that. Like we're slow in like meeting up, but anyways, uh, so that's why they haven't been really successful in the, like before then with, uh, crashing weddings is cause they would make it, uh, by the time the wedding parties ended. Also, they like expected that the wedding parties would be going on a lot later cause they're wedding parties. And for some strange reason, people aren't getting super lit for super late, but I'm assuming because people got stuff to do, they can't be up too late, they got work, bada bing, bada boom, you know the drill. So anyways, back to the story. So there was this one time of their successful, quasi-successful uh, wedding crash uh, that they did, which was, uh, how, well, I'm not going to tell you, like, their strategy, how they figure out, like, how to get, uh, find out um, how to crash a wedding, like, uh, find out what weddings are available and how to, like, properly crash them or whatever. But so they, there was this one wedding where they went to the hotel and then they, like, uh, they brought, like, gifts for them or whatever, uh, like, random, like, quick extremely cheap gifts that they wrapped up uh, for them uh, and dropped it off. And then they went into the room where everybody is. Uh, and yeah, like, um, and, and like it, everything, everything seemed ideal. And this was their first official, like successful or almost successful wedding crash. But, but it was like a, a real, like a, a really like a movie how this all ended up turning out. They walk in the room. They obviously were standing out because they were the only non-Asian people there. Um, some people were like giving a little bit of glares to them. It, it like got a little awkward for them, but nothing like crazy happened. They just decided to stay there for like, I don't know, like 20 minutes because it, it was getting awkward for them. They were standing out, you know? But I don't know, I, just to me, it seems kind of like it, 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 it reminds me like of a comedy movie, you know, like the two main characters, like Goofy just doing this like thing, like they show up to this random wedding thinking they're going to crash it, like party, blah, blah. But it turns out it's an Asian wedding and they're like you know, completely standing out. I don't know. It's funny. But I liked that story. Uh, they also have other interesting wedding, wedding crashing stories. Uh, all of them had like uh, different, um, different obstacles, unexpected obstacles, such as like this one. But that is that story. Thank you for listening. Check out my other stories because they are awesome. All right. Thank you. Bye.